America, the land of opportunity. America, a nation of abundance. Ours is a country rich in resources, plentiful in material things. Yet, ironically, deep in our hearts, there's a void that cannot be filled. Even though Americans enjoy more freedoms and opportunities than most people on Earth, many are dissatisfied. We want to know the meaning of life. In a survey of students at 16 colleges and universities, the number one question they asked was, what is the purpose of human existence? Hello, my name is Dennis Cooley, and I'm a volunteer for Bibles for America. I live in New York City, and I'm a student of the Bible. I want to introduce you to a very special organization, Bibles for America. We're a nonprofit organization with a mission to distribute free Bibles to people all across this great nation. We give away a very precious commodity for free, the Word of God. A Christian research group recently found that most households in this country have an average of three Bibles on their bookshelves, but that's where they remain, on the bookshelves, and rarely read. Why? Could it be that the best-selling book of all time is also one of the least understood? Could it be that the Bible is shrouded in mystery in the mind of the common man? Could it be that what people need is not more Bibles, but a Bible they can understand? In response to these questions, Bibles for America was formed. And this card, I'm going to put this part to be used on your card. It's a toll freedom, and then there's also a website that family, friend, or member, anyone could get one, and it would take them approximately three weeks' time before they receive it. Enjoy your new Thank you very much. God bless you. Appreciate y'all doing that. Thank you. It was not until I received a copy of the recovery version of the New Testament that the Bible became easy for me to understand. Many other believers I know have also told me that after using the recovery version, their Christian life was revived, uplifted, enriched, and strengthened. What I have here in my hands is not just a good translation of the Bible. It's a study Bible with footnotes that unlock and interpret the Word of God. In this program, we want to tell you the story of our organization, its mission, programs, and operations. We hope that after you have a chance to get familiar with Bibles for America, you'll do two things. One, order your free copy of the Recovery Version New Testament today. And two, tell a friend about it. In May 2000, armed with prayer, faith in God, and a vision of a country filled with the understanding of the Bible, we concentrated our initial effort in Orange County, California. Operations were based in a one-room office in Irvine, staffed by one full-time employee. A logo and brochures were designed, and a slogan was adopted, the recovery version, a Bible you can understand. We were ready for business. Volunteers went door to door to hang brochures offering the free New Testament recovery version, and the request soon flooded in. People began calling us or returning postcards to receive a free Bible. Each week, volunteers hand-wrapped and applied postage to each Bible and delivered bin after bin to the post office. The shipping process literally operated out of the trunks of cars. To meet the growing demand for Bibles, we moved into an office suite and added two more full-time staff members. A distribution center manned entirely by volunteers later opened in Commerce, California, to meet all of the packaging and shipping needs. News of the organization quickly spread, and more and more readers of the recovery version across the country desired to help spread the word. 
By the end of 2000, volunteers from 21 states had been trained and were distributing the free offers. Bibles for America traveled throughout Southern California to host Bible seminars for new recipients on how to use the recovery version to better understand the Bible. Exploring other ways to reach people with a gift offer, we acquired a motorhome in December 2000. The vehicle, emblazoned with our logo and contact information, traveled throughout California, Arizona, and Nevada to distribute brochures in towns along the way. Though the neighborhood door hanging program yielded an excellent response, we prayed that the Lord would provide a way to give a wider audience the opportunity to receive a free recovery version New Testament. We looked to the college campuses, where a generation of young people longed for truth and reality. Only the eternal Word of God could fill that longing deep within. A test program on nine college campuses was conducted in the spring of 2001. With the help of Christian clubs, volunteers passed out thousands of brochures offering the free recovery version. The results were astonishing. The high percentage of response indicated that college students desired to know God's Word. Brochures and other materials specially designed for use on university campuses were soon developed, and the campus program was launched in the fall of 2001. This is what one college student had to say about his new recovery version. When I first received the recovery version, I was, uh, well, first I was excited to receive a free Bible. <laughs> and then I, I began to, to uh, really dig into it and to do some of the, the references or to follow or track down some of the references, look at some of the footnotes, see what was really being presented in them. And I found something that I really hadn't found presented elsewhere and it, it really tweaked my hunger and increased my, my seeking and my pursuit of the Lord uh, in terms of understanding and seeing more in who, of who He is as presented in the Word. Well, as one who, who was already studying the Word, I found the footnotes especially helpful, but also the cross-references so that I could compare and, and really understand the Bible according to the Bible, not trying to simply take somebody's interpretation of the Bible, but really see how the Bible is, is, is a book as a whole and how its meaning can be derived from, from different passages within. Uh, the Bible is much easier to understand. I've read a number of other translations and this actually I would say has, has the most, uh, the best tone, if you will. Uh, it, it carries with a, with a, a understandable language a, a, the content and the, I would even say the revelation that, that surpasses uh, just about any other Bible that I've read. And so with the, with the help of the, the footnotes, the, the translation itself is, is tremendous. I, I would say that my Christian walk and my Christian life was accelerated through this, uh, the, the recovery version. Again, it really helped me understand the truth, which then also helped me enter into more experiences of life and Christ as life knowing Christ and who He is and how He's presented in the Word, what we see of Him and His person and His work. It was really tremendous in terms of uh, accelerating my growth and my knowledge of the Lord Jesus. It's easier to understand because you see it in terms of, of its entirety. The, the Bible is seen in, in context. You, you, the Bible is, is interpreted, especially uh, in the footnotes, from the Bible. And so you can see from the scope of the whole thing uh, a, a, a controlling vision, if you will. You can see something through every book and it's presented in, in such a way that you, see, you can follow lines throughout the Bible. And so I, I'd say that a, the language helps or facilitates tracking those lines. I encourage everyone I possibly can to, uh, to to get one of these Bibles. I encourage, uh, I give the Bibles for America packets to toll booth operators. I give them to students on campus. I give them to cashiers. I give them to people on the street. I hope that anybody and everybody who has a hunger for the truth, that wants to know the Lord Jesus, will get one of these Bibles and enter into the truth that is, that is presented in them. This confirmed that Americans, especially college students, desired to know the Word of God.
September 11th, 2001, a series of tragic events changed the course of the whole world. Facing our mortality and threats to national security, Americans questioned the meaning of life and sought answers to their whys. Our sense of security was shaken, and people were searching for something eternal. A nationwide atmosphere of spiritual seeking continued in the months following, and we sought God's leading for a way to fill this great spiritual void. America needed the unshakable, eternal Word of God, but how could we respond to this need? What better way to reach Americans with the Bible than to bring it to their towns and cities? We used the motorhome to launch an unprecedented cross-country trip from California to New York City and back to distribute Bibles to those hungry hearts across America. Volunteers nationwide quickly came forward with offers to travel with the motorhome, to donate finances, and to extend hospitality to the crew members at each stop. Volunteers contacted shopping centers and college campuses in their cities to secure venues for Bible distribution events. The motorhome was loaded with thousands of Bibles, brochures, and gospel tracts, and on October 17, 2001, left California, bound for New York City. This tour, called the Word of Truth USA, yielded results far beyond what the staff had anticipated. Our internet website, updated with daily reports and photographs from the crew members, attracted international attention, and people all over the world joined in prayer to support the Bibles for America tour. On November 9th, we reached New York. From midtown Manhattan to Central Park, and all the way to Ground Zero, the response from the people of New York City demonstrated that Bibles for America was meeting their need for consolation in this time of great loss. People saw our motorhome on the street and came to talk to our crew members. They said, we're so glad you came here to help and thank you for coming to New York. Time after time, Bible recipients testified that receiving the recovery version was an answer to their prayer. One woman said the cruise coming to her town was a divine appointment arranged by God to meet her. During the 60-day tour, volunteers distributed over 6,000 Bibles from coast to coast. The success of the trip proved that people were hungry to read and understand God's Word and that the recovery version filled that hunger. Many prayed to accept the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior for the first time and received a Bible to continue their Christian walk. For Bibles for America to be able to minister to Americans at that time of great need was a confirmation that the Lord was answering our prayers. In 2002, additional motorhomes were acquired to facilitate regional Bible distribution tours. The vehicles made regular trips to college campuses, shopping centers, fairs, and public markets to distribute Bibles. In addition to conducting five regional tours that year, we also distributed Bibles at special events, such as the Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena and the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City. When the war in Iraq began in 2003, we sought a way to supply the country's military personnel with free Bibles. Our military distribution program was born out of a desire to provide service men and women with the spiritual guidance, comfort, and strength that only the Bible can render. Through this program, Bibles are shipped to military chaplains upon request for distribution to troops. Whenever possible, our motorhomes visit military installations for personal delivery of Bibles. While the mobile distribution developed and expanded, we sought a way to reach more American households with the offer for a free Bible. We explored the possibility of continuing to spread brochures to households with the help of the United States Postal Service. We developed a program to mail brochures by the thousands to addresses in any and all U.S. zip codes. This mass mailing program was formally launched in the spring of 2003. We opened a branch office in Beltsville, Maryland to carry out this program. Within the first year, 
over 145,000 brochures had been mailed to 37 zip codes. Brochures were being scattered like seeds throughout America. By 2005, over 250,000 recovery versions had been given away across the country through the various means of distribution, the door hanging program, mobile distribution with use of motorhomes, the direct distribution program with display table setups, the military distribution program, and the mass mailing program. The mission of Bibles for America, to freely distribute a study Bible that was easy to understand, had now been fulfilled far beyond what we could ask or think. Though the Lord's blessing had been with our mass distribution of the Bible for three years, we felt our work was not complete. The various means of Bible distribution had been successfully developed, so we turned our attention to helping people to read and understand the Bible they had received. Of the hundreds of thousands of people who had received Bibles, a number of them were eager for additional help in reading and understanding the Bible. Study groups using the recovery version were forming on college campuses, in the workplace, and in homes. People wanted additional resources for their studies. We considered how to best meet this need. In the fall of 2004, we expanded our organization to include a department devoted solely to developing study materials for use with the recovery version New Testament. First, we developed our Christian literature series. This is a free series of books on the basic elements of the Christian life. These books have rendered untold spiritual benefit to people worldwide. For the first time, these books would be distributed for free in the United States by Bibles for America. We also offer a free booklet entitled Using the Recovery Version to help readers gain the benefit from the features of the recovery version, such as the footnotes and cross-references to study the major topics of the New Testament. Bible recipients now receive this booklet with their free Bible. We are continuing to develop tools for helping people study the Bible. Our Educational Services Department is developing a website that allows people to customize their Bible reading with personalized schedules. Finally, Bibles for America's twofold mission is complete. We are not only distributing the Word of God freely, but we have resources to help people understand it. Through the recovery version of the New Testament and these various resources, our prayer is that people all over America would be brought to the full knowledge of the truth. Bibles for America began with a deep feeling in our heart for the people of America. It was an echo of the desire in God's heart for all men to be saved and to come to the full knowledge of the truth. After seeing how Bibles for America has distributed free Bibles to over 250,000 Americans, we want to invite you to get your own free copy of the Recovery Version New Testament. Call us toll free at 888-551-0102 or visit our website at www.biblesforamerica.org. You too can participate in this noble mission to distribute New Testaments throughout the country. We depend on your prayers and support to continue the distribution work. Please pray that Bibles for America gift offers will reach people who are seeking God and hungry for His Word. Pray that people will find nourishment in the Recovery Version New Testament. We also invite you to become a volunteer distributor of the Recovery Version. Simply tell your friends about the gift offer and encourage them to request a copy for themselves. Please contact us if you're interested in handing out brochures for the free Recovery Version of the New Testament. People often ask if they may contribute to Bibles for America. The answer is yes. Bibles for America is a nonprofit organization supported by the donation of individuals. 
All donations are tax deductible and are acknowledged by a receipt. While we're thankful for every donation, we want you to be assured that not only the Bible, but also all the literature we send you is free, regardless of whether or not you wish to contribute. Bibles for America's Hope is that many people would find the meaning of their lives and be brought into God's eternal purpose through reading the Bible. Already God's Word is changing lives and bringing people into a closer relationship with God. May this country be filled with the full knowledge of the truth. God bless America with the recovery version. These are just a few responses from people who have received free copies of the New Testament Recovery Version through our distributions. We now bring you excerpts from a video Bibles for America produced two months after the tragic events of September 11, 2001. I'm Dennis Cooley, and we're here at Union Square in New York City, near Ground Zero. The tragic events of September 11th have wounded a proud and mighty nation. On that crystal clear fall morning, in the span of less than an hour, this country, long regarded by the majority of its citizens as invincible, was humbled and shaken and injected with a sense of vulnerability and mortality that it has not had to deal with for more than half a century. And so here we are in New York City, two months after 9-1-1. On the Veterans Day weekend, searching for the mood of its people, we asked New Yorkers what they believe to be the lasting spiritual impact of the recent events on this nation. We also asked them how they and their families have been affected in the pursuit of spiritual things. Here's what they have to say. I did not think that somebody could have so much hate inside themselves to be able to affect so many people in such a way. You know, took something, such a strong country and something like that just devastated it completely, but now it's brought so much closer together. And not just this country, because it was the World Trade Center, everybody else as well. It's where do we go from here? Where's our eternal life? Do we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior? Spiritually, people are not playing anymore. Every day is a new day, and we don't know what's going to happen. And you just have to live every day and praise the Lord for what we have. Even though the family has suffered a great loss, but nevertheless, they are saying within their heart that if somebody can be saved out of that one tragedy or incident, they will be well pleased. Spiritually, I feel that uh, life is nothing, you know. We should at least love each other, you know. It's just open the doors for us to remember that this country was uh, founded, that our founding fathers were Christians who believed, who came over from England to, to want to um, have the freedom of religion, to be able to express their love of the Lord 
Um, we believe that this is going to open doors for people to know Jesus as their Savior, for people to remember um, from what we've come, and um, open their hearts to the Lord. That's the only way we'll have any healing through any of this. So. Uh, it's been a great reminder of uh, just how short life is That's and right. how temporary life is. Billy Graham's uh, uh, daughter was asked uh, why God allowed this to happen, and uh, her response was, we take God out of uh, Christian we take God out of schools and government and out of institutions, and we're surprised when uh, such evil takes place. Um, you know, we're in end times, yeah. and quite possibly in our generation and cat and our kids' generations, uh, they may not grow up to be old. In the visible realm, the events of September 11th have left the people of this country with more questions than answers. How long will this war against terrorism continue? How could God allow such evil and suffering? Can our government really protect us against further attacks? Just pondering such questions increases the anxiety that we all are trying to deal with. Yet, in the invisible realm, there is a peace that flows from the realization that though we may not understand all the whys, we know that God is still on the throne heading up the entire world situation, holding the globe in his hands. What connects these two realms, the seen and the unseen, is the Bible. For through it, God imparts himself as the strength, faith, and hope needed to see us through uncertainty and adversity. Whatever lies ahead for this country and for the world, we do not know. But this much is certain. The inward state of America is altered forever. An openness to God and to the Bible has returned, and so has a quest for things spiritual and eternal. Surely this is God's doing. The Bible, especially an interpreted Bible, can alone meet the need of this unique time. May the Lord continue to awaken the people of this country and turn them to the Word of God and to prayer. He desires all men to be saved and to fully know the truth. God bless America with himself.